Sebastian and this is for Mrs. Mom's class and we're reading Betsy Bunny Loves Chocolate Cake. I'm up my Michael B. Kaplan. Betsy Bunny was a handful. She knew this because her mother always said, Betty Bunny, you're a handful. And her father always said, your mother sure read about that. Betty Bunny knew her mother and father loved her, so so is being a handful. Must be very, very good. One day after a healthy dinner of carrots, potatoes, and peas, mother said, who wants dessert? I have chocolate cake, Betty Bunny, who is not very good at trying new things. Oh. Who is very good at trying new things? I know. I hate chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is yucky. What is chocolate cake? <laughs> good, 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 good. So her mother gave her a piece and Betty Bunny tried it. It was very the yummiest. She I ever put it in her mouth. When I grow up, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be married to chocolate cake. <laughs> Said buddy, buddy. <laughs> you can't marry dessert. Her brother Henry. You can marry a baker or make chocolate cake. Added her sister Kate. Or you could just buy a cake in the store, and then you don't have to marry anyone said your old brother Bill. <laughs> Betty Bunny thought about for a while. No, she finally said, I'm going to marry chocolate cake. <laughs> Whatever, said Bill. But you're going to have a really weird looking kids. That night, Betty Bunny kissed her, tucked her in, Good night, Betty Bunny. I love you," she said. Betty Bunny looked up through his mother's eyes and said, "Good night, Mommy. I love chocolate cake." <laughs> <laughs> the next day at school, Betty Bunny teacher said, "Good morning, Betty Bunny. How are you?" Betty Bunny said, "I'm a handful, and I love chocolate cake." <laughs> teacher, her teacher said. A's for apple, B's for ball, and B and C's for cat. Buddy Bunny s said A's for chocolate cake, B's for chocolate cake, and C's for chocolate cake. <laughs> A B C chocolate cake. <laughs> during during playground time, Buddy Bunny tried to make chocolate cake by mixing water and dirt. It looked like a little lot of chocolate cake, but it didn't taste very much like chocolate cake. Betty Bunny started to cry. I want chocolate cake, she said. Her teacher told her that they had no chocolate cake at school. Betty Bunny said, I hate school. It is so yucky. Bleh, bleh, bleh. After school, her mother drove her home. How was your day, she asked. I ain't mud. Betty Bunny answered unhappily, I want chocolate cake. Sometimes her mother explained, You can't have what you want. Sometimes her mother explained, You can't have what you want for it right away. You need to wait, and that's called having patience. But I don't want to have patience, Betty Bunny protested. I want to have chocolate cake. <coughs> That night at dinner, her mother told Betty Bunny she could not have dessert until she ate half the dinner. Usually, Betty Bunny liked healthy food, but not tonight. Tonight, she wanted chocolate cake. Her father told her, don't come to me hoping to get a different answer. Henry said, if you were smart, you'd eat some peas. Kate said, 
You should try some carrots. They make cake out of them too, you know. Bill said, why don't you have some chocolate cake? That's why you really want. Oh no. Wait. Can't. You can't. Ha <laughs> ha. Betty Bunny picked up some peas and threw them at Henry. Oh yeah. Peas and threw them at Henry. She threw some carrots at Kate. And worst of all, she threw mashed potatoes. Bill. They stuck to his forehead. Ow. Everyone was shocked. Even Betty Bunnies were shocked. She hadn't really meant to do something so awful. Mother was not happy at Bill. She had diseased her sister. She was even less happy with Betty Bunny. She told Betty Bunny to go straight to bed. There would be no chocolate cake tonight. Betty Bunny screamed, This family is milky! And then she remembered she was hungry. So she crammed a mouthful of peas and carrots and mashed potatoes and ran off to bed. Not very smart. When her mother came into her room to kiss her goodnight, she told Betty Bunny, Sweetheart, don't you know I still love you, Mommy? Betty Bunny said, You know that I still love chocolate cake? <laughs> Just thinking about the cake was not even making her cry. Then it made her scream. Then it made the cake blow and hurt her foot. It made her cry all over again. Betty Bunny, her mother said. She rubbed her little bunny's foot. I'm going to put a piece of chocolate cake in a plate in a refrigerator. It'll be a piece of cake and you can eat it tomorrow after a healthy dinner. Maybe if you know it's there waiting for you, it'll be easier to be and patient. Patient. Betty Bunny stopped crying. She liked this idea. She wanted to say something especially nice to her mother. Mommy, she said, you're a handful. The next morning, Betty Bunny wanted to say goodbye to her chocolate cake before she left the school. She opened the refrigerator and saw her piece of cake sitting in on its plate. It looked so lonely. Betty Bunny knew that cake would miss her all day while she was at school. So she picked it up and put it in her pocket. <laughs> At school, her teacher said, Betty Bunny, you seem happy today. Betty Bunny just giggled. There was chocolate cake in her pocket, and no one knew it but her. As Betty Bunny finished munching her last carrot at dinner that night, she muttered, her mother smiled. Betty Bunny, she said, you were patient and waited all day for your cake. You ate a good dinner, and I'm very proud of you. Would you like to get out your cake now? Betty Bunny reached into her pocket. Her cake was gone. Instead of cake in her pocket, it was filled with brown, goopy mess. Mess. My cake! Henry said, I can't believe you put cake in your pocket. Kate said, Betty Bunny, food doesn't go in your pocket. Bill said, guess you can't have... Bill said, guess you can't marry that piece of cake now. Oh. 
Her mother got a new piece of cake. She explained, putting cake in your pocket, it, it is not really the same as being patient. Betty Bunny finally understood. She promised from now on she would be patient. And so the next morning, when Betty Billy opened the refrigerator to say goodbye to her cake, to her piece of cake, she remembered that she couldn't put it in her pocket. And that is why she shoved it very carefully into her sock. <laughs> this book is Betty Bunny Loves Chocolate Cake, and she stuffed it in... She um, couldn't have chocolate cake because she um, didn't eat a good dinner and she threw food at her at her family and they're all shocked and especially her because she hadn't meant to do something really bad. So she was sent to bed even early. She was sent to bed early and when she was she was crying and she kicked the wall. She cried. Um, I can't remember what other two things she did, but she did something. And then she stuffed it into her pocket. And then she said, "You're so." And then we went to. And then she went to school. Then came home and said, "Um." And said, "Um." And then she reached into her pocket and said, Hmm? I told her, okay, gives you mom. Then she lifted her hand out of her cake. And then she went, What? Why did you brown on my hand? Yeah. Uh, and then she cried because her chocolate cake was gone. Then her mother explained, You can't put chocolate cake in your pocket. And then she got her new piece of cake. And she promised she'd never put chocolate cake in her pocket again. And so that's why she put in her sock. And then I, I think, I predict that on the next story is going to be about her learning that you can't put, you can't put cake in your sock. Then they're going to give me a shirt. Then pants. Then put them in between your ears. And it was hilarious. And I, and did you hear me, um, giggling? Bye.